Tim McKenney, give up his hand. Tour 
that I've been in from two Libyans who chose to join us. In Houston, we were joined by a dark-skinned Libyan. Approximately 50 to 60 percent of the people in Libya look like me. And so this dark-skinned Libyan told really about this land, he said, was our land. And what lies underneath the land belongs to us. And we ain't going to give it away to nobody. He said that we Libyan people are determined to fight to the last person, to the last bullet. That's what he said. And when I was there, I was able to see they've got checkpoints set up. Because you have to drive in now. You can't just fly into Tripoli because it's a no-fly zone. And you drive in from the island of Jerba, which is in Tunisia, and it's a six-hour drive. And then you get into Tripoli after six hours. And they have, the people, have set up checkpoints along the way so that guns can't, or individuals or other contraband can't be smuggled in. And all of the cars are searched. All of the people are searched at every one of these checkpoints. Now, it brought me to tears because these are not police officers. These are not military people. These are average, ordinary folks who love their country so much that they have decided that they are going to create a checkpoint and protect their neighborhoods. As I witnessed this, I thought about my struggle in this country for a place. My struggle for identity. My struggle to know who I am, where I come from, what my rootedness is in this country, and what kind of checkpoint could I set up right now, I'm to love my neighborhood, my community, my country, the way I saw those people love their country. Yeah. 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 This Libyan said that were it not for the NATO bombing, they could have dispensed with this band of brigands in a matter of days. But NATO is bombing in order to assist what is called these rebels. I call them Libya's NATO allies because as many grievances as we have with our own government, as many grievances as you have with Christie's government, you would never invite another country to come in and bomb innocent people. But that is what these Libyan NATO allies have done. And innocent people are being killed, Innocent people in the country, the infrastructure, the individuals, and now even the resources, because I just got word that the Great Man Made River, which was a project of Muammar Gaddafi, who enlisted the Chinese to come in and help them find water underneath the desert. They found the water underneath the desert. And now NATO's bunker buster bombs are contaminating the great man-made river. The bombs have destroyed the pipe plant that makes the pipes for the water. This endangers 70% of the population who rely on this particular project for their water. 